Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how easily we can charge the refrigerant in our air conditioning system. In this model world, we have different type of refrigerant like 410A, R22 and so and so. For all this refrigerant, we have different discharge pressure and different section pressure. And the method of charging for all this refrigerant is also different. When we charge this refrigerant, when our air conditioning is in running mode, that time we face a problem. Sometimes we charge more liquid or more wrapper in our system, which affect the cooling as well as the maintenance of our air conditioning. And even the compressor get more wear and tear due to this process. Even if you will see, company also do the same method to charge the refrigerant because they also know when we charge the refrigerant in the running system that time directly the compressor get lot of load and even it can get damage to avoid unwanted damage to our compressor and effect of cooling you can use this method and you can charge the refrigerant in your air conditioning system or refrigerator the method is that when we go to the outdoor when we see our outdoor unit that time we have to check the label which is stick in our outdoor unit in that they have mentioned how much kilogram of refrigerant we have to charge in our system. When we go to charge a refrigerant in our air conditioning system that time we have to take a small scale if you have a small scale you can take small digital scale or a big one whatever you have you can use the scale to charge the refrigerant. When we will, we will go near the auto unit that time you can see the nameplate. On the nameplate they have mentioned how much kilogram of refrigerant we have to charge the system. As they have mentioned the refrigerant how much kilogram we have to charge. It means they know what is the capacity of the compressor and how much refrigerant is required to the system. According to you, that we can charge the system and make the system work freely and without any force. And when we start the charging of refrigerant to our air conditioning system, before that we have to make our unit in standby mode, then we have to charge the refrigerant. How we should charge the refrigerant? The refrigerant what we are going to charge, it should be according to the weight of the level in our outdoor unit. And we have to charge totally liquid in our system. Because all of us know that when we charge liquid, that time automatically the liquid will convert it into vapor and it will fill our copper pipe and evaporator coil. This is the best way to charge the refrigerant because when we charge the refrigerant in the running system, that time when we charge liquid, it directly go and affect the compressor. That's why you can use this method and you can charge the refrigerant. Thank you for watching my video. If you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.